Today is November 28th, 2018. I'm in week 12, the last week of this semester for my university. So I got final exams coming up. So I'm very excited about that, but also very nervous because of how stressful that's gonna be for the next week. And then once all that's done, it's the winter break and that's super exciting. Christmas is around the corner, but there's, there's obstacles along the way, but right now, right now we, we got work, so. Talk to you guys in about six hours. Peace. That thing looks really, really cool at night. It always like sparkles and glows. It's the, it's the Eiffel Tower. All right, so I did just finish work. Seven o'clock at night, so it's pretty late. I had to close later today. In terms of my experience at work, it was very, very emotional, sad day. We got a pizza today from Pizza Nova. It was only $2 for a small pepperoni or cheese pizza. Super amazing deal that they have going on. And I think all the proceeds or some of the proceeds are going to charity. It was a sad day at work. It was not one of those days that you want to kind of go through. And what I mean by that is um, th my hiring manager, the, the person that had hired me and, and trained me to through being a bank teller and, and to me becoming an advisor at the bank, uh, she, left she's leaving my my branch i was her first ever person she's ever hired as a manager um so there was you know there was that whole connection there and her kind of taking me under her wing and you know building me up to who i am today at the bank crying you know in my office and it was, she was crying you know throughout the branch and everybody's sad that she's leaving uh, she's getting a promotion by the way so it's not like um she's leaving for a bad reason she got promoted to becoming an assistant branch manager her name is jenny by the way one second oh, i left that in the this is the only picture I have of Jenny. I actually uh, was invited to for, for a dinner because I was nominated for my hard work, I guess, at TD. Breakfast, not dinner. Also on this day was when I was fully uh, promoted to my new role as an advisor, so. It's really, overall, Jenny, you're gonna be missed if you're watching this. I think she does watch my videos sometimes. Welcome to another episode of Subscriber Q&A. Answer your questions, submit it in the comment section down below. Oh, that feels good. Yes, anybody can become the 1%. Do you watch the YouTube channels Minority Mindset or Valuetainment? No, I, I've never heard of them. What is the name of this song? He's actually talking about uh, this video. My name by Odisea. What is your biggest fear? For me, I, my biggest fear is the fact that I won't have enough time to accomplish the things that I want to accomplish with my stay here on Earth. Scared all the time that this might be my last day to live, and I and I just I hope that you know I, I get to realize all the all these ambitions and goals that I have, and I don't die halfway there. You know, I know a lot of people say that you shouldn't fear dying. I don't. I don't think I fear death itself, I, I just think I, I fear not having enough time. Does that make sense? For the Q&A, have you had any problems with your Google Pixel 3? I've seen some reviews and loving it and some hating it, but most of the ones hating are the people that got it early. I actually really love this thing. This thing works very, very well uh, for the most part. I haven't had any issues. Oh bro, do you have roommates? And if so, how do they feel about your YouTube? Example, you recording at home, etc. I have three roommates. You don't really see them in the vlog that much because I'm never home. I'm always busy either at work or as for what they think about my videos, I, I don't think they really care or mind. I, I'm in the basement. Like my room is in the basement so nobody can hear whatever I'm doing. So what is your favorite genre for books slash movies? Hashtag subscriber q &A. So I'm in love with movies that make your brain go so I'm talking movies like Inception by Christopher Nolan, Shutter Island, Interstellar was a great one. I just love movies where like you have to watch it again to fully grasp how amazing or how intricate or how complicated the, the story is. What? I am filming. 